Welcome back. First Nations Fashion Show taking place in Kamloops in September. Here to talk about it, we have Chief Shane Gottfordson. It's great to have you back on the show. Thanks for having it's me. It's been way too long. I've invited you before, but you're busy, I guess. Well, yeah, a little, little bit. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations on your recent uh, change. Uh, things are going to be changing for you. Yeah, thanks. Very honoured, very humbled. You yeah. know, uh, 12 years as a community chief has been, you know, really uh, a great uh, experience for myself. And, you know, building relationships within the community was uh, the number one goal. And What is your new title? Well, I'm the new regional chief for British Columbia, so it's... Uh, Definitely a, a lot of work involved. Yeah, well, good for you. Uh, I think it's great that you're here and that uh, it's going to be a great learning experience for you and great for our community. Yeah, I, th I think I think so yeah. too. I'm, I'm really, really excited. I'm really looking forward to uh, a new, innovative, uh, dynamic, uh, nimble approach towards uh, a new way of the leadership in British Columbia. Fantastic. And Kim Coltman, of course, with Headhunters. It's great to have you here as well. Thank you. It's great yeah. to be here. So you guys are working together on something that's coming up September, in September, yes. First Nations Fashion Show. Yes. Um, perhaps uh, one or either of you could tell me a little bit about how this idea was born. Well, I have been working in the fashion industry since I was 12 years old, so I've really been around it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I like to be able to do is to combine skills. So we saw a need in the community and all across Canada, really, to bring more awareness to murdered and missing women and children. Mm -hmm. um, I think that there is a lot of information out there now, but I don't think we're reaching the target audiences. I don't think we're reaching the people that we need to be speaking to in order to make change. Mm -hmm. So with this fashion show, what we hope to do is to raise not only funds, but awareness about what's going on within our communities and what's going on with our Aboriginal women and girls. We need to really step up to the plate, I think, and try and get more information out, try and reach as many people as possible. Um, I think that in doing a fashion show where we're bringing all of the fashion industry together, we do have 14 fashion designers who will be involved. Uh, Two of them have already done New York Fashion Week. All of them are from British Columbia. We have 30 fashion models who will be participating in the event. Um, it's going to be a huge event. Yes. Some statistics to pass along to the viewers as well, and I was yes. hoping, Chief Shane, you would comment on this. Uh, Aboriginal women represent only 4.3% of the total female population, but yet 16% of all female homicide victims are Aboriginal. Um, and uh, between the years 1980 and 2013, so that would be 33 years, uh, 1,181 Aboriginal women fell into the missing or murdered category. Those are huge numbers. Yeah, very astonishing. Mm -hmm. I know when I ran for regional chief, uh, that was a huge campaign issue across the province, you know, l you know calling for a national inquiry. I think when you look at the, the issues of... Uh, you know, the Indian residential school, the intergenerational impacts of what uh, in a residential schools have done. Not only that, the, the poverty issues of, of many of our, our First Nations people all across the country. I think uh, it, was a, it was a very hot topic in the debates and in the campaign. And, you know, we just finished our, our National Assembly and I was very honoured to uh, be able to uh, uh, be one of the uh, co-facilitators at the Assembly. and. I, I, there is a huge movement at, at the National Assemblies with our, our women's organization to, you know, really bring a lot of awareness. You know, it's not just a, a woman's issue, it's, it's a man's issue as well. I think when you look at uh, uh, some areas of looking at prevention and education, but number one is I, I think, I don't know why, uh, you know, Canada is so afraid to do a national inquiry on the issue. I mean, to me, uh, it's it's the right thing to do. I think when you look at uh, uh, the high number of uh, the percentages and the numbers don't lie. I think when you look at uh, the issue from coast to coast, I know our national chief uh, and our executive council of the AFN is very, very uh, deeply concerned about it, as is our leadership council of British Columbia. I think when you look at uh, the highways, uh, highway of tiers of Highway 16, you know, the, the reality is, is that, you know, there is, a, a, you know, the, 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 uh, there are predators out there that are uh, that are, are, are taking our our women, and and, and it's very 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 uh, serious issue. 
Yeah, and so many of them unsolved. Uh, this fashion show brings sort of a lighter uh, feel to it. It will it be a fun day, but uh, the underlying message will be there, and it's going to give exposure to this, which I think uh, is good. I think that a lot of times what happens is that people tune out what's actually going on because there's so much, there's so much overload. And I think that's, you know, a big part of the reason why we wanted to bring some fun into it. Mm -hmm. Because when people are enjoying themselves, they're more open to what's going on. So we do have people who will be discussing the issues at the show. Um, we're hoping at this point in time to have people who have really pushed through the movement, such as uh, Buffy St. Marie with the Red Dress program. We will be honoring that program at the show as well. We will have red dresses hanging all around um, the powwow grounds so that we're honoring the women who are missing. Uh, we are working currently with s families of Sisters in Spirit, as well as the Canadian um, Assembly of, of Women and, and Abor Aboriginal Women and Children. Uh, so we're moving in a direction where we can get information out in a way that doesn't seem as overpowering as what some of the news stories can, yes. can do. Yes. Um, Headhunters has always been really involved in the community and, and trying to make our community a safer place to live. Mm -hmm. So that's something that uh, Francois really jumped on board with when I mentioned that this was something I wanted to do and he just said, you give her. Fantastic. So, yes. We are out of time, unfortunately, but I want to leave the viewers with some information, which yes. is uh, on the screen. You can get tickets at camelslive.ca. You can also phone headhunters if you want to learn more about this. It's also on Facebook. I appreciate you both being here to take the time, uh, but I'm gonna throw it to the one day weather forecast. So um, I've got something. Yes. I understand it's your birthday. Uh, Happy yes. belated birthday. I <laughs> yes, got a little gift you. from you. I know you always do a lot of community service. I got some uh, a little thank you, some wild Chinook salmon from a wow. uh, River Fresh uh, group there. So I know how delicious I know you do, this is. You do a lot of work for the community and uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of uh, you know, uh, a gift and, uh, from our council and our people of our community saying a little bit of thank you for all that you do and that's thanks so for bringing sweet. awareness to the missing murdered women issue. Very welcome. This will be enjoyed. That's very sweet of you, Shane. Thank you so much.